Yo, what's up guys, it's Bundle here, and today I'm going to be doing a new series called Talkative Tuesday. Now I'm going to be doing this with James, who is currently flying this plane around, and we're basically going to be talking about news stories that we've found weird, or things that have been in the news that we found interesting, and think that you guys would enjoy listening to our opinions on. Now, today's title is about a disabled man who basically stole or attempted to steal some money from a bank in Greece with a shotgun hidden in his crutch. Now, I'm just going to read this article which I'll put in the description below and it's basically just talking a bit about this guy's robbery. A disabled man was arrested after he reportedly robbed a bank with a shotgun that was hidden under his crutch. The 56 year old assailant was detained when he held when he held up a bank in Greece for the second time using a, the weapon that was kept under his single walking aid. His first attempt to at raid had failed because of a tiny delay on a safe, but he was able to escape with close to £10,000 when he attacked a second bank. The suspect, who has only been identified as a local banker, has been charged with robbery and firearm offences. He reportedly said he stole the money because he was in debt following the economic crisis in Greece. So this guy, I believe, walked into a bank and tried to rob it with a shotgun that was hidden in his crutch. And then, once he failed at doing that, he went to another bank and tried to rob that one. What I don't understand is, how did he get the shotgun hidden in his crutch? Yeah, if you, I if... mean, picture the crutches. I doubt it's going to be actually his crutches, but they don't look very big and nowhere near big enough to hide a shotgun in. Yeah, they've sort of got like wooden bottoms. However, they do sort of, like the common, like the crutches that we have now are sort of metal. Whereas the one that he had was wooden. Or well, that's what the picture shows anyway. But it looks like it could sort of, I don't know where, how he would shoot out of it. And nobody really noticed him with a dodgy crutcher that may have a gun concealed in it. He's got, it's it's sort of like, it's sort of a bit of a circular bottom, which he, I don't know how he would have concealed a shotgun, it'd have to be a very small shotgun. Maybe it was like a, uh, a sawn off shotgun, no that wouldn't, no, you can't conceal that in a crutch, yeah. It's, it's, and I don't know whether he had it in both, or just one, I, th I believe it says he just had it in his single walking aid. So I believe he must have walked in with just one crutch into this bank in Greece. And he must have just gone up to these like people who are working on the well, registers. Unsuspecting bank workers. Yeah. He, so this 56 year old man has walked into a bank where there's a couple of registrars with the money in back, in, in like the tills or whatever they have it in. I don't know what they have it in, in this bank. But He's then gone and put his crutch towards them to rob the bank. I, I'm not sure how they would have even noticed that it was a shotgun. If he managed to conceal it so well, then when he starts pointing a shotgun, they'll be like, is this guy actually serious? What's he doing? Is he, is he mental? And then, like, oh no, we're being robbed. And he says it was because of the economic crisis in Greece. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you wouldn't need 10 grand as a bit of like debt payment because of an economic crisis. Like, I know you can get in a bit of debt, but surely 10 grand 10, is a bit, yeah. bit too much. And also, something just generalised of burglars uh, and robbers. I don't understand how you could have the mentality to think that it's it's fine to be able to steal off somebody, take their things, when just because you don't have the thing or you don't have enough of it. Where where does that come from? And also, why did he think that he was even going to be able to get away with stealing ten grand? And this guy's fifty six year old. So he's not going to be the most energetic. Well, he's disabled as well, so he obviously can't run. Otherwise, he wouldn't have crutches. Yeah, and it does state that he was a disabled man, which means that he must have the crutches for his disability, 
or either that or he faked his disability to get some crutches to then yeah. put a shotgun concealed in them to then walk into a bank and attempt to rob it. Or he's so poor, he, he wanted to rob a bank and he just bought the crutches and when he bought the crutches he got in debt because of the crutches. So they were too expensive. <laughs> um. It's a bit of a long shot. <clears throat> but I feel sorry for the uh, the policeman that had to arrest this 56 year old disabled man. And also would love to have seen like a video of the chase. The like oh, this fifty-six-year-old man would have no, given to the police. That's not even a chase. That isn't. That's just a fifty-six-year-old man getting owned by by some Greek police. That's not a chase. So, his first attempt to raid had failed because of a time delay on a safe. So he actually tried this twice. So he didn't tr just try it once, but he tried it twice, and it we held up a bank in Greece and for the second time using the weapon that he kept under so he was detained the second time so the first time he must have got away with it but i'm not too sure how he could and have it, i'm not sure if there's a, a difference between, i don't know if it was the same day or what does it say uh no the suspect has only been identified as a local baker so um, it, it's it says that his first attempt was stopped by a delay on the on the safe, and the safes are kept round the back. So, how did he get round the back without when he had just this one shotgun? This old man, that a, a young person could have easily taken down an old man. A disabled old man difficult. as well. It, it might have been a, a bit of thought of morale, though, because a young person even taking down an old man, if they're disabled, then. Yeah, but the disabled and the old bit is kind of overwritten by. The fact that he's got a shotgun. Yeah, that's a fair point. But I would love to know how long he was at this bank if he was delayed by the safe like delay. Yeah, how did the police not catch him the first time? Yeah, because the, fir the first time he was... He was caught? No, the, well, no, the, no, first the second... Time he managed to get away with nothing. So... How did he manage to escape the first time? Like, so he's got this shotgun in his crutch and he goes up to the first bank and points it at him, presumably. He points and then this. fails to get the money because there was a delay on the, delay on the safe, so. And then somehow managed to get away with no one spotting him getting away. Or and not then... being able to get to him, which. Again, like we said before, he's disabled, so how could they not catch him? And then the second time where he does actually steal the money, he manages to get away. And then after after he gets delayed the first time, he then proceeds to go a second time to attempt to go and get uh, to to rob a bank. He when... was very determined. I mean that that's. That's a positive. He was determined to do something that day. He didn't want his day to go to waste. Yeah, he, he was a man with a plan. This guy must have woken up, thought, "I'm in debt." Like, he's probably he's probably had a bit of time to think about this. He's probably had like a month or so that he's known he's been in debt, and he's he's thinking about how all these ways he can get money. And the best idea he comes up with to get money is to conceal. A shotgun somehow in his crutch which he then walks into a bank with and points at the bankers to give him money and then thinks he'll be able to get away with it the, the reason that they're just not the everyday person robs a bank is because it's difficult to get away from the fact that you've robbed a bank it's a criminal offense somebody's gonna come after you for it so for him to be disabled I don't understand how he could think he would have any more of a chance of getting away with it. And it's the fact that on the on this guy's part, you know, he's he's attempted to steal money from a bank, and the first time he does it, no one phones the well. He could have phoned the police, but it doesn't state that they phoned the police. So the first time he tries to rob this bank, like the first bank robbery he does, he's delayed, which means he must have been there for even longer. 
and the police still didn't catch him then, and if if he'd maybe not gone and attempted it a second time, the possibility that he could have escaped without anyone knowing that it was him is actually quite high. Because the first time there was no bankers that like, well the police didn't arrive very quickly so the, he could have escaped but then he, he goes for a second time and that's when the police get them get him so the police the first time with more time they actually don't manage to get him yeah and the second time when he so, I'm sure it says when yeah he says he's got ten, nearly 10 grand when he attacks the second bank so the second bank where he actually gets money doesn't steal uh, doesn't uh, take ages is the the one where the police catch him but the one where he's got more time and uh, where, the one where the police have got more time to go and kill uh, to go and not kill to go and cap, uh, like arrest this pe uh, this 56 year old disabled man they can't I think there's something wrong with the Greek police to be honest I mean they, they might be doing a fine job on other things like murders and tax evasion but they're not very good with solving crimes involving bank robberies obviously it just doesn't make sense but this just to wrap it up this 56 year old disabled man hides a, a shotgun in his crutch which he then goes into a, a, the first bank with holds the bankers up and make uh, and makes them open the safes but because of a time delay on the safes he decides to leave with no money and he then proceeds to a second bank where he manages to with less time get t nearly ten thousand pounds but it then gets catch uh, caught by the police Seems a bit weird to me. <laughs> and his excuse was he stole the money because he was in debt following the economic crisis in Greece. Right, I mean, times must be bad for you to be so determined to get money. <laughs> you steal, you, you go to steal a bank, fail to get steal that bank and then go to another one. And his idea of robbery is not like a traditional robber where it goes in with a gun like in his hand and like a mask on so no one recognizes him it just says that this 56 year old man must have, he must have just like walked into the bank with his crutches or with his crutch gone up to the thing and then like said I I'd love to know how the conversation went down because he must have gone I've got a shotgun in my crutch if you don't give me the money I'll shoot you <laughs> and like, that, that doesn't sound what? too believable whoa. they'd be like whoa uh, you you mad and then they would have phoned like the mental unit or somebody. Phone tried phone like his nursing home, try and get in touch with one of them. And then still, he managed to like the first time he managed to get to the safe, out from the safe without anybody trying to stop him. I don't know the the length that this guy went. To steal, to, to, to get steal. Uh, it's mad. He could have just declared bankruptcy. <laughs> but that was today's talkative Tuesday subject about a disabled man who, a 56-year-old disabled man as well, who goes into a Greek bank and attempts to rob money from it, which is frankly just an absurd idea. But guys, if you've enjoyed this week's Talkative Tuesday episode, then make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe if you wish to be updated when other videos and Talkative Tuesday videos come out, and I've been Bundle, I hope, to see... I've been, I've been <laughs> and I hope to see you in the next episode. <laughs>